There are many variations of architect scales. Here is this one. We're going to work with this one. I'll show you how to read it and how to use it. Reading is not the same as using. I'm going to spend a little more time on making sense of the numbers on it than actually using it because using it is going to be straightforward. These architect scales come with some numbers on them. For example, it might say one dot dot twenty, just like that. You read it as one to twenty, or one proportional to twenty. It's a uh, it, usually you read it as one to twenty, so it's a one to twenty scale. And in the scheme, in the big scheme of uh, things, one represents a one unit of anything. It could be one meter compared to meters. So it could be meters to meters. It could be centimeters compared to centimeters. Millimeters compared to millimeters. Kilometers to kilometers. Or, I know it's not metric, miles to miles or inches to inches. It doesn't matter as long as the two sides of the ratio are the same units of measurement, you should be fine. So the units of measurements are omitted because it could be anything. Now, what's one and what's 20? One refers to the drawing and the 20 refers to reality. What this means, this 1 to 20 means, is 1 centimeter on the drawing is representing 20 centimeters in reality. Or 1 meters on the drawing or on a map or on a blueprint, 1 meter on the map is representing 20 meters in reality. Or like on a map, say survey or or surveyors depending on the scale of things could be one kilometer could be representing 20 kilometers in reality either which way it's a 1 to 20 ratio the ratio is constant meaning the ratio is the same no matter what unit of measurement you're working with so that's what the numbers mean on the on on, a, on an architect scale on uh, this particular one typically that's how they they are either three or some of them are four sided the uh, the numbers run on the top one left to right and on the bottom they go from right to left because uh, there are six scales on this one so two here two here and two there six in total or if you have a four-sided shape then it's gonna be eight often used architect scale on them so that's what the numbers mean okay you have to make sense of the scale itself so that's just the number that is showing the scale of the actual number line that belongs to one edge so let's take a look at some of the numbers and see some of the numbers on the scale and see how uh, how you can make sense out of it I have standard graph paper math paper behind it and I just took photos of it so we're gonna look at three squares one two and the third one is here what is the width this is a quarter inch scale on this one okay uh, uh, that's a quarter inch square it's a quarter inch by quarter inch but that's in that that's its real actual size but on the 1 to 20 scale let's see the third line on the grid paper that's behind it let's see what number lives on the scale on the number line of the architect scale you can see there is zero there lining up with the first uh, grid line I'm just gonna 
we get rid of it so you can see that it is lining up with zero and the third one is lining up with this whatever that is so you have to populate it with numbers on your own you can see zero there and you can see 0 0.5 there so take a wild guess and go you have one two three four five bigger lines between zero and zero point five and if there are five there, these lines have to be zero point one zero point two point three point four and there's point five splendid now what number because we're going to that hairline there what number is lives there between point 0.3 and point 0.4 you have to take a look at how many hairlines we have between point 0.4 and point 0.5 we have not actually the lines you can count the lines or you can count the jumps one two three four there are five jumps between point 0.3 and point 0.4 the difference that subtraction business between point 0.4 and point 0.3 is point 0.1 because when you subtract point 0.3 from point 0.4 you're gonna get point 0.1 so you have one tenth to divide into five parts. That the number that's gonna be living there is 0 0.32, 0 0.34. My my numbers are too big. 0.34 is the next one. Here is 0.36. That one will be. 0.38 and it's going to be 0 0.40 30 0.3 is the same as 0 0.30 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40 I hope that makes sense when you have 1 tenth or 10 to divide into 5 parts each part is 2 in this case it's 2 hundredths so those are your tens, those are tenths, those are your hundredths, two hundredths. So we're going up by two hundredths each. So the width of three squares is 0 0.38. And that's just to make sense of the scale. Just the scale. Let's do another one. On this scale, you can see in the corner there that it is a 1 to 25. So every uh, every centimeter in uh, in a drawing is representing 25 centimeters in reality. Nevertheless, let's count again three squares: one, two, and three. And if you look down there, the third square lines up with another number again. Let's see how this scale is working. That's zero, and that's 0 0.5. Maybe I can slide it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, my 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 blue lines don't slide up with it. So we're going from there to there, aiming for that hairline. Okay, it's almost at 0 0.5. Let's see how many jumps we have between 0 and 0 0.5. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this, in this case, it's still the same. That's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0.5. Let's see how many jumps we have between 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. Two, three, four, five jumps. Okay, so the 1 to 20 and 1 to 20 scale is the same. Every minor division on the scale is 200, so that's 0.4, 42, 46, 48, 48. So this this grid line is at 0 0.48 meters, centimeters, kilometers, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's at 0 0.48. Let's try another one. Different scale. 1 to 50. You can see 0 and you can see 1 meter on it. We've got the same three squares. 1, 2, and the third one and we're taking a reading there. A 1 to 50 scale, it is different. Let's see how many major divisions are there between 0 and 1. There's 0 0.5 for sure, because that just by eyeballing, that's got to be 0 
that looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10th. Okay, so everything is 1 10th. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 6, 7, 0 0.8, 0. Oh, that's ugly. 0. 0. 0.9 for the longer line for this one. Okay, we're going to the little guy. What's the number that's exactly between 0 0.9 and 1.0? It's got to be half of one tenth. Half of one tenth, well, here is 0 0.1. Half of one tenth is 0 0.05. 0 0.1 is the same as, as an invisible zero. After it, how about 10 divided by 2 is 5 and just Make sure you keep the place value of the decimal numbers uh, in their correct places. So that reading there, the third grid line is lining up with 0 0.95 in this case here on a 1 to 50 scale. Let's do another one. This one, let's see how far three grids take us. One, second one. Third one, this scale is 1 to 75, and we're going down there to this hairline. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? There's one meter, there is 0 0.5 there, and uh, that's got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, every, every increment is 1 tenth, so that's 1. 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3, 1 1.4 and that's got to be 1.5 there oh that's very ugly 1.5 there and we're going to a number that's exactly halfway between 1.4 and 1.5 that number that lives there has to be 1.45 because the 1 to 50 and 1 to 75 scale seem to be working uh, with the same gradations. Let's do another one. On the next side, on the, on the architect scale, you see this, 1 to 100, and those are your divisions. It seems to be fairly straightforward. It looks like a standard ruler with centimeter mark on it and millimeters and, uh, between the centimeter marks, except this one says meters because it's a 1 to 100 scale. So, it's got to be one, two, three, four, five. That's the fifth. So if that's one whole meter, that has to be 0 0.5 meters. And the third grid line, which is this line there, has to be at 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 7, 8, 9. That's the number that lives there is 1.9. And that hairline there on this scale. The last one. On uh, this one will be the 1 to 125 and the standard approach three grid lines let's see what number we get there yeah this seems to be the same as the previous scale where you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay 10 uh, divisions between 0 and 1 so the number that lives there is 2.1234, that's 2.4 meters on this scale. But it doesn't have to be meters, it could be centimeters or whatever. So, that's how these scales work when you are reading them. And just, I'm going to add one more page. Actually, not going to add one more page, delete the page. I'm going to switch to the overhead uh, camera just give me a sec like so good we have this pretty paper here and my beautiful hand and uh, with the architect scale I'll show you how easy it is to draw something with it and uh, let's say let's pick the 1 to 20 scale here is the 1 to 20 scale if you want to draw uh, the scaled down version of a room that's for example well that's going to be a small room how about a tabletop a tabletop that's 1.2 meters 1.2 meters by 
0.75 meters. Okay, so that's that's your that's your real that's your real size, and we're gonna scale it down and draw it perfectly right away. So you take the 1 to 20 scale because because you just decided to scale it down by a factor of 20. So what you do is you start at zero and you just uh, draw the line. Let me just zoom in a little bit. All right. I'm going to have to draw the line differently. Just give me a sec. You draw a line to 1.20. Let's see. All righty. It is going to fit the picture eventually. There, I just make it sharp. There we go. So 1.2 will be here on this scale because that's how the scale works. 0 0.5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1.0, 1.1, 1.2 is there. I just moved the scale a little bit. There, that would be 1.2. And in the other direction, you measure 0 0.75. I'm just going to zoom out so that it is easier. 0 0.75 will be there is 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.75. I don't have a 0 0.75 on this one. Now we zoom in. And I'll show you what the situation is. I made the line 0 0.7 long so far. You can see that 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7. We don't have a 75. We have a 72, 74, 76. So 0 0.75 lives right there between 72, sorry, between 70, 74 and 76. So I have to make my line exactly that long, uh, just a little there, that long, and I just overread it a little bit there. That's where I need to make my next line, 1.2 there in that direction, there, right there, and just draw the last side of the rectangle there alright it's not square because I wasn't using a set square but that's the idea that's how you can draw a 1.2 meter by 0 0.75 meter table to scale to a scale of 1 to 20 and on the blueprint in uh, this bottom corner, say that's your blueprint, on this scale, or on this uh, blueprint, here where you say uh, company name and date and this and that, you can see a scale indication here and it should read 1 to 20. If a blueprint doesn't have a scale printed on it, it will be NTS, not to scale. So that's how to read and make sense of the numbers on an architect scale.